back to Teacher X. Hi, I'm D-Dog, a teacher. I'm a classroom. I play music videos. And I start right from my channel. This is Flashback Friday. What does that mean? That means we're going to be looking at older K-pop songs. And you know what? Let's do a group that I don't think I've ever seen their debut of. This is Monster X, a group I never did during year two of Teacher Reacts because they didn't come out with anything during year two of Teacher Reacts. Last thing we heard of them was beautiful or something. I, look, I don't remember. But it was good, and I've listened to it many times. This is Trespass, I believe, their debut. I don't think I ever listened to it. I don't remember. If I did, maybe I did once a long, long time ago. But this was nine years ago. So when we look at debuts, we always want to ask the question, did this introduce this group properly? In other words, do we get to see every member? Do they get to showcase their talents? Do they get to do all the things? Or is it a mess? Because sometimes debuts are a mess until the group finds their footing. Let's There are other groups and whatnot whose debuts have been not good, and over time they became lovely. So it really depends on where were they at here. I don't know. We're going to find out. So we're going to press play. If you like this video, click the like button. Make sure good about myself. And as always, subscribe. We're on the road to 2K. Oh, yeah. Thank you for labeling your people. It's very important to me. Don't know if this is the beginning of the song or if this is an intro, though. Hey. Intro. Okay, thank you. Ooh. I'm guessing very hip hop. A lot of their songs tend to be. Heavy rapping with high note falsetto stuff, very fun. Also, I love that you started a song with Knock Knock, like we're opening a door to you. That's probably just coincidence, but still. This is good. Although, there's not a lot of instrumental past that beginning, was there? Uh, yes, he wants to be like, I'm the one with the abs, even though they probably all do have them. Dude, don't play with the gun. Always have the safety. I like this electronic going up. Oh, that was the fucking chorus? Didn't know. It's a great beat. One thing Monster X has been very good at, and that, this goes with the rappers and stuff, is the rhythms at which they sing. Having intensity. Oh, I loved the giggle. That was lovely. One way to my heart right there. That just reminds me of the other Monster X song that says, Excuse me, I'm walking like zombie. I don't remember that one, except I think it sounds like Pac-Man. Isn't it the Waka Waka song? I think, I'm unsure. <laughs> Their vocals were fine, even with the first, their first song. And like I said, the rhythms at which they do their verses are fun. The rhythms at which they sing. I think the only thing I don't care about that much is the instrumental, but it, it's fine. Just the generic K, uh, generic K hip hop, K pop stuff. But I mean, they were debuting. We've seen a million people debut with this type of song. Especially back then. Remember fucking Bling Bling by Icon? Ugh. No, not Bling Bling. Rhythm Ta, whatever it was. One of those is terrible. Anyway, back to this one. <laughs> I like this. Uh... Give me a belt. Give me a belt. No! Where's my belt? You should have done it. You were building up in everything. See, if I didn't know anything about this group, I would think that this group is entirely rapping. Like, you have some singing, but it's been mostly just talking the entire time. Flows nice. I mean, as as an intro, 
as a as an introduction to the group, it did its purpose because it really let everyone shine. All the singers got a lot of time in tan, especially when you had the rappers, you know, rapping for most of it. But like, the, the a lot of the vocals got through, especially when you had some people rapping underneath and you had vocals up top doing falsetto things and stuff. I think it happens right at the beginning. So like that's very smart. Also smart in the music the music uh the music video having that whole intro label each person. Appreciate that one. That helps old people like me. Uh really besides that I know that they can do more complicated stuff nowadays. Cuz I think this the only thing that really sours me on this is the instrumental being really fucking basic, dude. But I think the instrumental isn't the focus here. The focus is all of their vocals, all of their personality, and all of their voices, both rapping and non-rapping. I think that's the main hook here for them to really kind of get over who they are. And I say get over as in like a wrestling term. It, to get over means that uh, you're, you're selling yourself to be popular. No, not selling yourself. How do you say that? To be over is to be popular. There you go. To get yourself over is to make yourself popular. That's that's the way you say it. If you're getting something over, you're making that thing popular. And I think the song is meant to get them over by showcasing their personality, showcasing the the little bit of a roughness that they have. Because this is very bit this is very much a not let's see, this is nine years ago. So this is nine years ago. It's not very crisp, but I don't think it has to be. They're much more of a hip hop oriented in this uh, in this song rather than being uh, ballad oriented or later we see generic pop oriented. We're not gonna talk about that English album. Point is, I, I think this is pretty good. Yeah? I think it's pretty good. It does what it needs to do, but there's much better stuff by them in their discography by now. But as a starting place, it's a great start. I think that's what we gotta go with for now. I'm gonna do outro time. If you like this video, click the like button. I'm talking to myself, as in the video you're watching of me right now. Uh, and then subscribe, we're on the road to 2K. And then always comment, tell me how you feel about this group. Is there a song you'd want me to listen to? I, I will listen to it. It gives me something to do. I have probably like two more songs in me. I am running out of things in Flashback Friday to do. So I'm currently scrolling through Spotify and thinking, hey, what can I listen to for Flashback Friday? And I think the next thing, I don't know yet. We're gonna find out in the next video. See you next week, bye.